Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Xana520 and welcome back to Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. In the last episode, we got the Nova Beam from the Pirate Homeworld. And after unlocking a new landing zone on the planet, we decided to now return to areas where we were before to do some cleanup because we now have Pretty much every power-up that we need to do anything, anywhere. So we have come to this section of Norian, where is Generator B? Or where is Generator B? Where Generator B is. Uh, we never actually got to see this section of the map before because the door was locked and Gore, or not Gore, Rundus was the one who actually activated Generator B. Gyroscopic ring system offline, part of an energy production unit, appears to have been shut down. Can't go back there, unfortunately. But we can come in here to where the generator is, and oh goody! Look what's in here! It's a load of freaking phase on. What's going on? Well... All the growths activate, and we now get to face off against yet another Metroid Hatcher. Oh boy, okay, so, starting off, and he's dead. Yeah, the Metroid Hatcher is one of those enemies that has the weak point that you can use the Nova Beam to kill. Which really makes him a joke. If you have it. Which is one reason why I waited until this point to come back here. We could have accessed this area a long time ago, back when we got the Plasma Beam and the Seeker Missiles. But I specifically waited until we had the Nova Beam, just so I could one-shot him. Unfortunately, you can't actually one-shot the first one you find. You actually have to fight it normally. But, we can now grab this energy cell out of the wall here. The, uh, the generator doesn't seem to be around. So, despite Rundus stating that he activated the generator, the generator just seems to be offline. Maybe they took it offline, and then the hatcher moved in. Who knows? It's a plot hole. You can see the generator up there. Anyway. Let's, let's get on with things. There's other areas we need to go to. Let's backtrack through this area. We don't need to take our ship. We can walk. We got legs. We know how to use them. Anyway, moving right along from that weird reference. Not much in here anymore, other than that data area. What the heck was that noise? Oh, hey, the liquid phase is back. See ya. I think this guy's uh dialogue changes. Good day, Samus. It, yep. <laughs> I'd say it changes. Let's head off the generator C. We can now get in here to access this random missile expansion. Check that one off our list. Anything else down here that we need to deal with? Nope. Generator shaft. 
Nothing else going on there. But there is one more thing over at Generator A. That we need to grab. So let's go and get that. And then we can be on our way to Brio. This never seems to get cleaned up. This is just, you know, in the way forever. Floor here is still gone. And this room is still a bit of a mess. That's a save room, I think. Either that or it's the map. Come down here. None of these people say anything particularly interesting. They basically just say, Hey, can you not bother me while I'm trying to work? Thanks. Here, right? Yes. If we come around the side, there is a spider ball track along the wall here. We'll just roll around here. And we zip up into here, grab another missile expansion. And just like that, we are done Norian, I believe, anyway. No more dots. No more dots. Yep. That is Norian 100%ed. Alrighty, so let's call our ship. And make for the fiery shores of Rio. I am said Norian. No, this is Norian. And Norian isn't on fire. Not nearly as much as it used to be. Let's enter our ship. Zoom out, and zoom in. Let's head for the cliffside air dock first. Say goodbye to Br say goodbye to Norian because we will not be returning. Say hello to Brio. There's quite a lot we can do on Brio. Because it's been a while since we've been back here. The last time we were here, we got the screw attack. And that is actually one location that we need to return to because of that whole uh, spider ball thing that was on the walls in there. The space pirates have vacated the area, but that doesn't mean that everything has been cleaned up. Now, once again, if we look at our map, you should be able to see little dots, including some right there. And there, and there, and all over the place. And I am getting messages out the wazoo, so I really wish that wouldn't be happening. It wasn't happening. You guys again, give me your tail. Oh, that's the other thing I can do. I can just do one of these. Suck the energy out of them. And then rip their tail off. Anytime you can grapple something, you generally can... Uh, these guys don't have a weak point, unfortunately. 
generally speaking, you are able to, um, ouch. Oh, hello. Generally speaking, you are able to drain energy from them. You can also push energy into them, which can actually cause them to overload and explode. Which is also somewhat humorous, I would say. Did we do the thing over here? I think we did the thing over there. Yes, we did. Is there anything for us over here? No, I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. All right, so we are going out the other door. That one over there. We also have the bats here again. The laser bats. Boop, boop, boop. Swing across here. Just passing through. In fact, I believe in this next area, we actually have one of our power-ups. It's in this vertical tunnel here. We just have to use our worker golem here to hop down sit and climb up these wall jump surfaces to grab a missile expansion And that gives us 75% of all pickups. And a special ending. That is not in there. It is in this room. And I know exactly what it is as well. Anyway, let's hop over here onto this. And... Thinking about it, I do believe we need to come from the other side to get the item in here. So down we go. Now oh, the, uh, the not war wasps are still in here, so I would recommend looking around and trying to blow up their nest before you get to the what the heck before you actually get to their um, height there's one there and then there's one up there and I think there's a third one there doing that will save you a very large headache later No misses. Brilliant. Other side, stupid. So, in here... We have this room here. I believe that is through this door over here. Hoppers. You can see our flames are now green, which is kind of cool. This room! Remember this room? This room now has this guy in it. The Fargal Hatcher. Able to jam incoming missiles. Mouth is vulnerable tech. And his little swarm. The Fargal Wasps. They... Uh, they dive bomb you. 
They're awful. Ouch. This guy is obnoxious as crap. I hate him. Ouch. That's what they're talking about, him being able to jam. What the heck? Open your gob! Now burn to death, please. Alright, you know what? I hate you. So I'm just gonna do that. Oh my goodness. Enough! But I also got a thousand kills. So we are going to give this some energy. Holding it to break off. And like I alluded to, he is going to come over here. And use the power of energy to turn on all of these magnetic rails. Which will allow us to get that singular missile expansion. Sit. So let's go get it. We're also going to have to worry about these discharges. You jerk. Yeah, get hit by that. You're not getting... You're not going to be sticking to anything until you land. It's a little bit annoying. Drop down. Jump up. Drop down. Drop down. Bomb here. Excuse me, I said bomb here. Do a roller around here. Drop onto that. Drop onto that. Boost over here. Drop. This one. is annoying because you have to do a double bomb jump off a magnetic rail. And I think that's the only time in the entire series that you are forced to do that. Thankfully. But Missile expansion acquired. We can now use our screw attack, I th think. How the heck are you supposed to get over there? I don't actually recall. Can't do anything there with that yet. Because we need to find something unlock a passageway. Alright. What's the secret here, Chief? Am I literally supposed to, like, just time this correctly? I guess so. Anyway. Jump up here. Access this door. There's a hole in the floor. I think we have all the Brionian lore. Roll through here. And we've got a puzzle. We need to find the bombable yellow crystals to destroy the colorless ones. These leaves, I believe, will, yes, deactivate after a moment. We 
We blow that up to blow this up. Blow this up to come through here. Blow this up to do this. That actually hurts, so watch what you're doing. Get rid of the roller. Makes your life easier because you have to do a double bomb jump up into this Mognar's mouth. Fire missile expansion. Come down here. And now, are able to come through here. And where does this lead? This leads here. Deactivate these to open a gate. And it will allow you to access this over here. You're supposed to grapple across, but... I took the hard way. Anyway, come down here. And we can use Boost Ball to finally... Finally. Come up here. On the other side of this is a missile expansion. But, that's not all. Because somewhere else in this room is another expansion. And I believe it is over here. Yeah. Need to do something with this. What did this say? A large battery appears to have been removed from it. Ah. Where have we seen a large battery? Wait a minute. I forgot something. There's a red door up there. Jump up here, stupid. Now we can get up here easily. Grapple across here. Red door. What is in here? Anything? Anything useful? Hoppers? Hoppers are not useful. Anything else? Nope. Roll through the tunnel. And come out here. There's more hoppers. There's also lore on the wall. Sorry, you're on fire. Salvation. The great machines of the Science Lords performed flawlessly. They absorbed the toxins and pollution in the air and soil, preserving the remaining fertile land of Rio. Yet the planet's climate was forever changed, leaving one side eternally scorched by the sun, the other forever in the icy grasp of darkness. The launch of the machines revealed the hidden enclave of the Science Lords to their former enemies. The bright lights in the skies caused by the de decontamination equipment stirred old hatred in the hearts of the primals. Fearing a new attack, the Primals sent their warriors forth to hunt their hated foes. We were now marked for death. I am reading these a little bit out of order, but what in tarnation do we have here? There appears to be a large head. Headpiece to one of the ancient colossal war golems. Appears to be movable. Indeed, there is a grapple point on the very top of this guy, so let us call our ship over to pick this large lad up and remove him from his place in the fuel gel. Off you go.
And there's a missile expansion there in the background that you can see. And what we need to do is freeze these. Climb up. Freeze that. And claim it. Missile expansion acquired. However, that is not the only thing in here because hidden behind the waterfall in the fuel gel, which is why we need the hazard suit, is another missile expansion. Bringing our total to 205. But we cannot call our ship until we do something about that head. So let's go find a place for the head to be placed. There was a much earlier part where I actually made mention of where it is. Is it a hole? Nope. We need to go here. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, hello there. Another lore entry. Didn't I say that I got we, we got all the Brionian lore already? Well, I guess suppose I was wrong. Struggle of Exiles. As the followers of the primal tradition celebrated their victory, a number of surviving science lords gathered in a hidden sanctuary. It was there that our foolishness became obvious, and we regretted ignoring the Chozo's warning. We realized the folly of following the ways of science with blind faith, and the peril of all Brio. The contamination left from the battles was spreading and would soon scour the remaining fertile lands, leaving naught but ash. If we left unaided, Brio would lose what few safe lands and water remained. Once more, our great minds turned to a great task, planetary salvation. As our enemies searched the lands for us, the last lords of science, we created our final machines and launched them into the heavens. Now we backtrack up through here, get out of the fuel gel, because there's no reason to be in the fuel gel, get out of there. Up here, roll along the plants, zip through here. And return to this room. Where the, uh, thing is over there again. I hate that thing. Anyway. We are going to plop the head onto the neck of this mighty colossus. Drop it. Clunk. And with its last remaining power, the mighty war golem smashes this area. Revealing to us a ship missile expansion. And A very strange object indeed. Rotating this around creates half a bridge. Plus, we can now climb up here and grab this energy tank. and drop ourselves into the void. But, 
unfortunately, we can't get that other side open from this side. We have to go all the way around. But that's going to have to wait till another episode. And I think that's actually everything we can get from this side currently. It's just that. And you'll see that this actually links up with the jungle side of Brio. So, let's return to our ship. And in the next episode, we will head over to that jungle side. Hoppers! Burn! Open this. We can call our ship to land here because we've gotten rid of the head. Next time, we will make for the jungle air dock and see about opening up that passageway into this side of Rio. This is Anna 520, signing out.